Welcome to Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. Today is another garden to kitchen feature and I'm going to be harvesting some baby bok choy. Let's go take a look. There we go. Now what I have here is some bok choy that I've raised in these little uh, cloth, three gallon cloth pots. And of course you can see that uh, the, the bugs love them, the, the slugs love them, but it's time to harvest these. They're bigger than your normal baby bok choy, but they're not full size. And I'm going to make a, just a bok choy side dish today with a little bacon, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now I'm not going to try to regrow these plants. I'm not going to harvest individual leaves. I'm just going to pull them out of there, and we're going to use the whole plant. Uh, both of these will be used, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Normally if I was going to harvest for continual growth, I'd come in here and I would just cut off the outer leaves like so. And then you'll find that uh, your plant will still grow since it grows from the inside. But since I'm not doing that, we're gonna take the whole thing up and we get to look at the root system here in these two plants and see how that root system, how it began. Uh, if you saw these plants when they were young, this kind of, this stem here flopped over and, and I thought, well, how's that gonna be a, a nice big head of cabbage? But you can see there, it surely has become that. So what we'll do is I'll just cut that off right at that point. We'll take this in and clean it up. Cut that stem off. There we go. There's your baby bok choy, just like you get at the store. All right. Let's go to the kitchen. So put about a teaspoon or tablespoon of olive oil in there, just enough to saute with. We're going to put our onions in here, our pepper. Now I'm substituting jalapeno peppers because I have them on hand for the crushed chili peppers. You could use any kind of pepper. You just want to add a little spice to it. And you put your garlic in here. And I'm going to put the garlic in a little bit after I put the onions in because garlic burns easy and I don't want to, I don't want to burn the garlic. That's bad. About now I'm going to add the garlic, so in it goes. Here's how I'm doing the bok choy. Basically the stems I'm cutting into smaller pieces, but once I get up into, into the leaves, I get progressively larger. And if you see anything like that that needs to be cast out, just cast it out. Because the stems are going to take longer to cook, so you want them in smaller pieces than the rest of the green. Once you get into the greens, it doesn't really matter. So here once again, I take it you're not a fan of raw bok choy. Nope, not a fan of raw anything unless it's fruit. <laughs> All right, that's where we want it. So let's, uh, that's right where we want it. Let's put our bok choy in there. Alright, being that this is filled with water, it will steam. So 
I'm going to cover it and we're going to do five minutes and from there we'll eat. That's about where we want it. Put this aside for a moment. Turn our timer off. We'll take our bacon. We'll add the bacon to our dish. Stir it in there a bit. Look at that. Now to serve us up some of this delicious bok choy. Go get some of that good bacon. Now that looks like a good side dish. Let's try it. Let's make sure we get a little bit of everything. Here's to it. Yeah, that's good. I'll do this again. A decidedly non-Asian dish with an Asian green. Yeah, that could go alongside steak. Chicken fried steak. Anything Southern, anything American. That's an A plus right there. Mm. Thanks for joining us on Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. Please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, give us a thumbs up, and uh, share our videos if you find them interesting. We're very glad you stopped by. Be sure to subscribe if you want to be notified of upcoming videos. Just uh, down there, you'll see a, a bell. Click that bell, and you'll be notified when we publish a new video. We're very, very grateful for you joining us. We have over 500 subscribers now, and they just keep coming three or four a day, and that's, that's really encouraging. So share us, subscribe to us, and we'll keep bringing you some, uh, some good gardening stuff. Thanks. Bye-bye.